Hey everyone, welcome back to the stream. We're on Wednesday, the 20th of March, 2024 sped by so far. Almost 33 months out and spring is nearly upon us. Speaking of spring, we're springing right into another certain randomizer seed today. It's gonna be the safe preset once again. Um, I've been feeling a lot more comfortable in it now. Uh, it's just a matter of getting through early game and the rest is smooth sailing. Um, afterwards, we'll be doing Vernal Edge, and we hope to finish it today. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but um, if not, then we'll use whatever next stream to try to get that wrapped up. Um, speaking of which, this will be the last, or second to last, not sure yet, um, stream for a few weeks while I get um, ready for some events that are coming up uh, offline in, you know, in other games and such, so... Uh, that will be encroaching most of my time. So that's less time for streams, but no worries. Um, streams will return routinely uh, after that subsides. Okay, let's get started. Let's wait no further. Um, I'm playing on a... I don't want to call it a new controller, but it's the same controller. I just got an exchanged version of it. And the previous one I had, I think, was defective. Um, because the diagonals are way better in this controller. Like, it's 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 night and day. Like, uh, I'm not having trouble on these uh, famous Soten inputs anymore. Before, I think it was certainly not a me issue, even though I was kind of being driven crazy by missing a lot of uh, a lot of the spell inputs. But all is well now. Let's get this prologue done. Ah, no stacks. Wow. Oh, that's bad. Ah. Okay, good. <laughs> we didn't die. Otherwise, I think the prologue bonus gets worse. But there we got a nice full set of prologue rewards. Um, emptied the hearts, ended with cross, started the fight with 41 hearts. So all is well. Let's try to get the early game nice and clean. Um, we also got to see our starting items because that's always hilarious. Not that that matters a ton, but uh, it always gives me a laugh. So. This is item randomizer on, after all. Effective against Werebeast. Oh, library card at the start. Okay, if if these... Okay, we start with Alucard Shield. Mm. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. I don't know if these are worth keeping, though. But I can keep them, because I have the library card. The Alucard Shield and the... Um, the Buffalo Star are definitely nice, but I don't know how nice they are. I guess we can just see how much damage they're dealing. These should one-shot, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm taking two damage from the, the um, zombies, which is not the worst. But I don't know if I want to keep Werebane. It might be worth library carding, honestly. Let's do this item check here. And then we'll do the the one just... Oh, Mana Prism. Huge. If we get a Duplicator, we love to take that with us. We'll do the other... Oh, oh my goodness. Eight damage. We're going to miss two drops from the enemies that lead up to the first save room. Mm. I don't know if I want to keep these, to be honest, but now library card, all or nothing, all or nothing. <laughs> it's rare that we get an opportunity to do so, so. Let's see how it turns out. We skip death, we keep all this gear. It's not the best gear, again, but all the card shield, you never know. And this will speed up the early game checks. Okay, familiar card in the shop. 
another buffalo star. Okay, let's see. That looks like Ice Brand to me. Proper. Standard sword. Jewel knuckle. Uh, is that rune sword? Okay. That is Thunderbrand. I'm not sure what that is. Skull Shield, whatever it's called. Ooh, okay. Not the greatest shop, but still a chance to redeem. Okay, Ring of Ares is pretty nice. Any of these other accessories are good. Yeah, eh. Shop is okay. It's not the greatest. The real punish is if like something like that is at um, Cube of Zoe, which we obviously skipped because we library carded. But the main idea is to not do death. Or not let death take the gear, rather. I mean, this is not even a bad attack uh, weapon to start with either, so I think we're fine. This doesn't have good range. Skill of Wolf. Oof. We're getting a lot of levels though, so it's decent. Ow. We also skip Doppelganger 40, I guess, which is good. But yeah, no library cards in the shop either, so. We'll see. We'll see the extent that we get punished here. Oh my goodness. Wow, I could have died there. <laughs> no joke. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. Honestly, let me go back to entrance and just quickly save because I don't want to die. <laughs> it's a little premature, but uh, you know, I'd rather not mess around here. What is this? My tracker's gone, I just realized. You guys should be able to see it still, but it was gone for me. Yeah, okay, good. That was not a punish then. That was actually perfect that we library carded. Because now we can do Alchemy Lab in one fell swoop, which is ideal. Could be useful. Yeah, we gotta go back to the library before we go to entrance. We could actually save 
uh, entrance in Alchemy Lab. I said entrance. I meant Alchemy Lab. Um, but we can save. We can save that until after we do Colosseum. Because chances are we can just still do all of that in one go if we find Jewel. This weapon is so short range. That's like the only issue with it. Oh, nice. Perfect. Ooh. What are these? Okay. Javelin and actually Yasutsuna. Okay. Uh, it's not a great attack weapon, but it'll help, I think. We can probably put it on the secondary hand. Oh no, it's two-handed, two I forgot. It's fine. I think this is more than good enough damage for this area, I think. Oh no, actually, the damage is kind of not great. <laughs> it's more range, though, so... I'll still keep it for now. Until we get like a shield rod, maybe. You, you guys are just gonna have to bear with me on the <laughs> sounds. <laughs> That's uh, so in for you. So yeah, we'll go to All Rocks now. We'll save Entrance and Spirit Orb for later. Not Entrance, oh my goodness, Alchemy Lab. Alchemy Lab and uh, Spirit Orb for later. Uh, wait, this jump is, yeah, it's not a, it's not straightforward. There we go. Opal. Well then, uh, if only we had gotten that before <laughs> we went to the shop, it's fine. I don't think we would have been able to buy anything of tremendous value anyway. I should actually check what that is, because it's probably not just a sellable. Some of these sellables have stats. Yeah, this one has plus one defense and strength. Excellent. Oh, great. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. Oh, great. Love that. Yeah, this Yasusuna doesn't do a lot of damage, so I do have to be careful. I'll switch off of it when we get to, like, later, like, maybe mid-game areas, second castle or so. <laughs> I say mid-game, and then I said second castle. Oxymoron. Yeah, we still don't have jewels, so it's kind of risky going up here. But, uh... I don't know. Um, we can always warp back to entrance. There's not really any risk. And we're going to have to get the All Rocks warp anyway. Oh, Morn Blade. What is that? Okay. Yeah, so a lot more generous of a start than we've gotten in many of the safe seeds on stream recently. It's funny because uh, I was doing some offline seeds of safe, and we were never getting. Uh, good starts. We are always getting like jewel of open start and then like, you know Early second castle that kind of thing And it's, it's tiresome. It's brutal <clears throat> Exhausting But this start is a lot more reasonable. I mean after all the one of the prologue rewards was library card So that helped a lot But we ended up not using really Any of those uh, kept equipment yet Which is funny but it, it, it did make the route better. I will admit that. Like, that's always a win. Cheese. Alright, let's uh, open up this warp. First kill that guy. Not mess this up. <laughs> there we go.
Maybe I should have opened this up after, because, you know, as I said, I might go back to entrance. Yeah, this was not a good idea. It's fine. A little time isn't going to hurt. It would have been better to check Coliseum and then open that up. Oh, that is not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, I think I have soul steel, right? Yeah, this was just not the right optimization. Ooh, punish. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Next time we'll do that better. Because I was going to use this warp to go back to, to, um, to Alchemy Lab, right? So. It's all good. Oh, that is not what I wanted. It is nice to have tooth early though. I will admit that. It's really nice. That was that fairy card, I believe. Okay, next progression is Oh, hold on. Keep Oh, yeah, through Coliseum, huh? Ooh, that's gonna suck if that's where I have to go. Don't worry, we simply just won't have to go there. Also, what shield is that? Medusa shield. Oh, let's go. Easy. Never punished. <laughs> okay. I think we just go... The We do the checks here, including Spirit Orb, and then we just go straight down. <clears throat> Save, keep for later. Oops. Fancy with it. There's Spirit Orb. I'll take it. I always like um, seeing how much damage I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing very low damage, but... That's expected. This Yasutsuno wasn't the most amazing. That is a Thrust Sword. Oh, wait, hold up. That is a Thrust Sword. Let's go. We've got Flight out of logic, but um, we certainly take that.
So that kind of does change the route a little bit, but I'm still going to check the stuff that we would normally check. But actually, that's a good thing because that'll make the route a lot more efficient. I'll probably get off of Yatsutsuna soon as well. But it's just helping out a lot for clearing these enemies. Okay, I'm not getting that. Buffalo Star, sure. I think it was in the shop, but you know, you never know. If I might not have enough money to get another one if we find a duplicator. And I didn't see what was here. Okay, yeah. Nothing useful. I think I need to face the way I'm trying to do it in. There we go. Would have liked to see more here, but it's all good. We could uh, do all rocks, or not all, all rocks, but um, sword cards soon, but it's not worth it right now. Okay. Yeah, let's just go down. Makes sense to me. Uh, not yet. I was going to change to the Thrust Sword, but let's hold off for now. We can um, put that on after this. Ooh, I kind of want that. Okay, we gotta put the thruster on right now, it looks like. Oh, come on. Can I even get there? That's eh, okay. It's not a big deal. That's not like an insane sword or anything. I should actually put on the. Uh, basically, I should put on something better. Because <laughs> we're not going to use this for the fight. Um, Wear Bane. Hmm. Mm, 
Yeah, we can just do all the card shield. Ham and eggs, yum yum. Wow. This place had like nothing. <clears throat> okay, this is all out of logic, so... I don't know what we would expect to see here, but I guess we'll find out soon. Try to hit the Tetris Spirit, hopefully. <laughs> uh. Oh no. There we go. Ah, that's not good. No, what are you doing? Nope. Nope. Wow. Oh, okay, well, just guess correctly. Come on. Okay, there we go. Wow. That, that was uh, actually a little scary. We don't have a lot of attack. We don't have, in logic, uh, wait, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Oh dear, punish. It's fine. Cube isn't that bad. Let's just fill up here quickly. I guess still it is. Actually, I don't know if that's an A, because now we don't. <laughs> now our flight is in logic, and this is like the um, save classic, giving you flight as uh, double jump plus gravity jump. Wow, the items are just so bad. Honestly, it's good that we have the werebane that we started with, to, um, because we skipped death. Because the equipment and items, item checks so far have been horrid. Absolutely terrible. So we're going to try to save split. Um, oh, I guess Merman plus entrance is in logic, huh? Eh, I mean, save splitting it makes sense still, though, I think. Otherwise, we end up in an awkward spot, and then, you know, keep could be on the table, too. Who knows? What is that? Peanuts? Oh, I should put back on uh, the Yasutsuna. Where are we? <clears throat> a nice sub weapon to pick up. Is that a sellable? It's not the real holy glasses, of course. Yeah, this this controller, like the diagonals actually work and it feels so good. Oh 
Oh yeah, what's up, Knock Eldest? Thanks for tuning in. Dracula flow time. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Soten is Soten is the best. This uh, it's amazing that I don't I don't think there's really been a Metroidvania that surpassed this game, even uh, what almost thirty years <laughs> later. It's pretty crazy. Okay, I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, we've been playing a lot of randomizer lately, and I've been enjoying. Oh, what is that? Oh, Alucard Mail. Alucard Mail, pardon me. Uh, it's not good stats. I don't know how the stat randomization works for uh, for armor, but the stats didn't look crazy there. So, But I'll take the you know effect still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This, this game still holds up so well. There are some like quality of life that didn't age super well, but in my opinion, like it it aged extremely well. The visuals, the aesthetic, it's all so good. You know, it's hard to beat this game. So much so that uh, even Igarashi, when he made a uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, I think he still had trouble beating himself. <laughs> of course, he didn't have Konami's help and resources, but you know, yeah. It's hard, it's hard to beat a game like this. But yeah, um, this seed's going well so far. Uh, oh! Okay, well, we have to... Uh, we have to go back up, which is not a big deal. Because um, we had to keep this. Rare moment where a merman has uh, value. <laughs> Random Vlad. I think we might just end up full clearing this seed, to be honest. If possible clear first castle because we haven't found uh we haven't found any rings we haven't found spike breaker we haven't found that it's just been kind of oh that was bad yeah so this seed will be interesting but yeah it's uh it's been nice equipment so far the equipment's been really good. We got a good pro prologue reward. It was a library card. Another Buffalo Star. Wow. But yeah, we got a nice prologue reward for once. And uh, we had a nice prologue in general. I think one of my better ones in recent memory. But yeah, now we got to check the fabled entrance. All right, everyone's uh, favorite room in the game, right? We're just going to do this. I've seen people... Uh, handle this room like this and it's a lot it's a lot uh, less brain intensive <laughs> than trying to kill the zombies before they spawn uh, I should probably mm, that's fine actually we'll kill this guy with Yasu Suna yeah nice nothing say it ain't so I'm just uh, holding, holding down forward, mashing A. Can't get any better than this. Yeah, so I think uh, from here we just go down into catacombs, right? Demon card. Um, Ooh, yeah, we might have to go back to Catacombs later, because uh, we don't have Merman. Or, sorry, we don't have a... Uh, we don't have Bat. I mean, technically, it's possible to check the Spike Room without Bat, but uh, I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty tricky for me to do it. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a library card? Oh my goodness, yo. <laughs> oh, that's a rare... Sp I don't know why I didn't see that the, f uh, the first go. I think because it was red, I didn't take notice of it, which is ironic. But normally w library cards aren't that color, so... Can you really blame me? <laughs> I'm gonna fill up before this fight, to be honest. I don't trust myself to 
to not die on Cerberus. Uh, even though we should be fine, realistically. But, you know, you never know. Although, I don't know if I want to use Yasutsuna on Cerberus. Um... It should be fine, actually. Never mind. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, I should have picked up the holy water. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Yasutsuna. Yeah, it's doing fine, I think. Yeah. Let's pick up the holy water. Yeah, if only this thing had a little more damage, but that's how it, uh, the randomizer accidentally balanced Yasutsuna in this seed. <laughs> Made the damage really low, but it still has all the good properties. Okay, nothing. Aw, oh, man. Alright, yeah, we'll come back. No need to do Grand Flume right now. So let's go to keep. Fire of Bat. Yeah, we gotta do keep from... Clock tower, I think. Oh, sorry, I think I missed these. Let me let me bring the chat into better view. My apologies. Um, here we go. You're gonna try one of those PSN tourneys for KOF, but uh, you think you missed the one for your character? Oh yeah, yeah. Is it like ESL or something? Those ESL tournaments are kind of. <laughs> The ESL um, PlayStation turns are kind of yikes, from what I've heard. At least from what I've seen as well. The Uni ones, at least, I remember them running for Uniclair. They are really poorly run from uh, what people have commented on them. And people are getting like their uh, prize payments really late, too. That kind of stuff. So I'm not sure how it is for KOF, but you know, if it is ESL, then I would be uh, cautious. You're going to ask what the last Castlevania game was made. Um, yeah, I don't think... I think the last Castlevania game wasn't even a Metroidvania. It's like... It's like... <laughs> you know, Konami hasn't been doing anything with this series lately, so... Oh, we hate to see that. Oh, we really hate to see that. Oh my goodness. Well, the good thing is, it's right there. It's literally right there. Uh... Yeah, we hate to see that, though. Oh, my goodness. We do not love to see that one bit. Okay. Time to do another seed of uh, <laughs> Gravity Boots Leafstone as flight in a second castle. Yay. Woohoo. Thought we were done with these funny seeds, but safe said, nah, I get the last laugh. Same, you heard they're kind of scuffed. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, they're kind of. I think I think the people that they have running them are kind of not really that well versed in the fighting game community, admittedly. So they just kind of put the stuff on, let people enter, and don't really have like much moderation or whatever. Like you know, they they kind of just let it do its thing. It doesn't seem like they really uh, have people that are super on it, you know. Honestly, Yasutsuna is helping out a lot. And that library card is going to be nice since we're going to Sing Castle. At least there's that. We have the library card. Um, and we can also full clear keep before we go to Sing Castle. Just in case somehow Holy Glasses is bait. But I doubt it. I think, I think that is the next step in the progression. <laughs> I like checking up here, just in case. This is a decent place to check. It's not amazing, but uh, hey, it's food. 
Parfait, yum yum. I have to wonder where this food is, where this food comes from, you know? <laughs> I thought this, uh, I thought this castle was supposed to be, like, an incarnation of chaos or something. Nothing? Okay. I'll do card sword. Wait, hold up. What is that? Um... Okay. I'll check down, down, yeah, uh, especially with that dive kick, I'm checking down first. Uh, Echo, I'll grab it, I, I usually grab Echo, but, um, that's interesting. Fire, fine sword hone to razor edge with a lot of attack. Might use that for bosses, bosses. It's a really cool concept, bring an easy access tournament setting, but the execution is meh. I agree, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think the better form of that is uh, just the CLG run it. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh my goodness. All right, keep had nothing. I'm so glad we didn't come here first. Going down is the way. All right, yeah, it's, it's one of those seeds. Early second castle. Oh my goodness, these flea riders, get away. Go away. We already have a library card, but you know, what if we find like a duplicator or something? But yeah, uh, if you're talking about like some of the best tournaments to enter, um, I think CLG Run It, which is now called, uh, I think it's run, run by FlyQuest, right? Um, those tournaments I think are good to enter. Uh, they usually do a good job of running them. And if it's the same people, I don't doubt that they're going to do a good job again. Um, so, yeah. All right. Nothing interesting there. At least from the blimp. Like a quick skim. Uncurse. Heart max. Okay. Wow. I should have... Uh... No, we have all the card mail. I think we'll be fine. Um, I hope we'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, I'll eat my words if... Oh, that's not holy glasses. Uh, this one's holy glasses. There we go. It's it's weird sometimes it's safe. Like, it'll say holy glasses, but it's not actually holy glasses because of item item stat randomizer. Let's go. Yeah, this new controller is so much better. The other one was definitely some way. It's not really new. This is just the same 8-bit do Pro 2, but uh, it's a different unit, so... The one that I got earlier was definitely defective of some kind. All right, let's uh, let's go. Right side, I think, is usually better for early second castle seats. So no gamba this time. We're just going right side, straight up. He'll take it. Oh, shield rod. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is that actually shield rod? Hey, easy. Easy. Let's go. I'm so glad we kept the Alucard shield from the beginning. All right. Uh, bosses are going to be a breeze now. <clears throat> Uh, that that was worth. <laughs> Gambling pays off. Let's go. Mm. Let me get the. No, I gotta get the warp first. Yeah. I was gonna say let me get the warp first, but then I was going the wrong way for that. <laughs> And then uh, we'll save. Well, we'll do the shield spell first, and then save. Um, come on! <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. Oh dear! All 
I don't think it goes away when I save, so hopefully this works. And that means we just got to um, dash, uh, ideally without... Uh, without the all card shield. So that we don't use up the time. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, the movement is really garbage, but, you know, that's why we're going right side. Or that's part of why we're going right side. Man, you really hope there's more playable antagonist sequels in the future? Yeah, I know, right? It's really sick. You know, uh... That's where we need... Oh, come on! That really sucks. Oh, and I can't use the shield. I have Uncurse, I think, right? Where's Uncurse? I should probably use the shield potion, too. Oh, no, I can't use the shield potion. Wait, can I even use these? Hold on, uh, let me, let me get out of here. I don't even know if I can use these because uh, curse is supposed to like prevent you from doing something or something. Let's see. Okay, no, I can. That's a relief. So let me use uncurse. Uh, did that work? Yeah, there we go. All right, and then I'll heal a little bit, Turkey. Come and clutch. Yum, yum. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, where is my... I should probably just use Yasutsuna here, to be honest. I don't really need all the card shield right now. I can just re-equip it um, when I need it. Oh, they resist Yasutsuna. Makes sense to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, anything else? I don't really need to kill them, but you know, I gotta, I gotta show them who's boss. You know, I gotta show them you don't mess with the Alucard. Yep. Uh, sure. We have. I mean, we have all the shields we could ever ask for. I think we even have Iron. Oh no, we have Medusa shield. Okay. All right. Let's just use uh uh, uh whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh come on! <laughs> the weird thing that happens uh, with all the cards sometimes when you duck or when you uh just like change directions rapidly in general. I'll reapply the Alucard spell later. Right now, I just want to not die. Rare footage of the Dyke actually working in this game. Okay, where's uh, Alucard shield? see it let me uh put on dark shield ow um yeah this movement i know right <laughs> the movement in this game is so sick 
actually the best. Um, I should also heal up, I think. I have an elixir. I don't really want to use elixir right now. Um, especially if you run into a duplicator later, so... Let me use the disgusting food that Dracula left on the ground or something. <laughs> uh, ham and eggs. Tasty, yummy. I could also just, you know, soul steal, but I want to save the mana in case. You never know. Uh, you know what? What am I doing? I, I was using Asitsuna, right? The only reason I took it off was because the tombstones resisted it. I don't need to do any of this. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Uh, <laughs> you didn't see that. You guys didn't see that, right? Uh, promise me that you didn't see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we just saved, so it's not going to be a big deal. We know that uh, Medusa is not going to have anything. Nor um, Darkwing Bat. But the problem is... Uh, we haven't found the next layer of progression, right? So that'll be a problem. This is this is the early second castle moments. Okay, let's. We already have this. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling. Uh, nah, I mean. Mm. It just feels so bad to do left side without bat, so it's it's not like it's impossible, but we don't even have wolf for that for like for crying out loud. It's gonna be so just ugly and slow and painful. I don't know if I really wanna entertain it right now. Let me oh I already have shield on here. Yeah. All right, uh, Panthers, you will not get me this time. <laughs> I will not allow it. But that's why we save, folks. Oh my goodness. I'll save here too, so that we don't have to go through the pain again. Looking for just wolf, please. Something like a wolf. Uh, I should... Ah, no, I forgot. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for going away. We're still going to pick it up, even though we know it's not a relic. Or and we know it's not a required relic. Um, because, you know, if we get wolf before we get bat, this is going to be really useful. I'm sure you guys understand. Really? Alright, we'll just do that. Yeah. I think it's worth. You don't want to get poisoned again. <laughs> what did she say when she dies? Good question. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, I... I, uh... I admit, I don't pay attention to the voice lines, because some of them are definitely a little sketch, but uh, that is a great question. Also, this looks like uh, some good stats, I think. Anything else? I don't think anything's going to be better than... Wait, hold up. Godscarp was here all this time? What have I been doing? <laughs> wow. Friendship ended with Alucard Mail, then. Uh, okay. 
Uh, and then we got strength increase, but defense decrease. Uh, I think I'm good. All right. Wow, I don't. I didn't know that we had God's Garb all this time. Silly me. Uh, I hate this area. Well, I don't hate this area. I just hate doing it with Leapstone and Gravity Boots. But probably a skill issue, to be honest. They, oh, thank you for the boost. Oh, I really needed that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I did not need that one. Oh my goodness. Alright. There we go. Alright, that's good. <laughs> We're out of there. This area is not going to be easy either, but I'm just going to use the all the card shield, honestly. Definitely Igarashi's vision. Wait. Oh, I can't even do Akhmadon. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my goodness. Right side is trash. Wow. What a blunder. All right, we're gonna, um, we're gonna save split. I don't know, I, does, it, does this even matter? Does this even make sense? Cause we're just gonna be taking the warp, right? This is not even a real save split. This is just, I don't wanna die. Yeah, whatever. It's true, I don't wanna die. Yeah, insurance, yeah, exactly. Because uh, this area without bat, without any transformation, <laughs> kind of garbage. And uh, I still don't have... Um, I guess I can do trio. Hold up, this might be big brain actually. I can do trio, and then if trio has nothing, we come back here. That way I still have info. Oh, I'm so glad we have the shield spell, oh my goodness. This would be so obnoxious without the, sh uh, without the shield spell. Oh, I hate this enemy my favorite. Alright, this is going to be brutal. I'm probably just going to soul steal right away. Or, mm, I don't I don't think I need to actually. Let me see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We still got plenty of time on the shield spell, so. Let me actually reapply it, just in case. <clears throat> And we don't have mist, so we have to take the long way. Oh, oops. Nice Castlevania pot roast. Uh, it's not this way, yeah. Here we go. Uh, should we just... Oh, we don't have Iron Shield, right? Yeah, we gotta do it with Alucard Shield, which is perfectly fine. Uh, 
Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go to uh, left side. This was all an experiment to see whether I would go left side, regardless <laughs> of whether I had that or not. Surely it's not in First Castle somewhere. I swear, if it's at Grand Floon, oh my goodness. <laughs> That'll be a tilter if it's at Grand Floon. Because that is possible. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to believe it, but... <laughs> it's very much possible. You know, we'll shield dash. We'll just reapply it because we, you know, it's not really. I think I think shield dashing will save more time than uh, the time taken to go to a save room and reapply it. Because we don't even need to go to a save room to reapply it. It's just that, uh, you know, it's just the preference, I guess. In fact, why do we even have, uh, we can just use two shields. I am silly. We just use two shields, so there and there. I think that works. Regardless, though, let me just go to the save room quickly. Um, actually, uh, let me see. Might as well see right now. that way we can like actually shield dash if this doesn't end up working then you know so be it uh, i should have saved let me just save the save doesn't really matter uh either here but uh there are a few levels so might it, like i want to keep the levels the hp Wow, I can't believe it. Uh, actually, Grand Floon just straight up might have bat. Which would be very bad. Yeah, that would be very bad. Uh, we have the save there. That's my cope. We have the save, so we can just... If we don't find anything, then... Oh my goodness, come on. Gravity jump. Thank you. Yeah. This is so bad without Bat. I swear. If Bat is just at Grand Floon. Ow. Oh, that always happens. Get me in there. Okay. <laughs> Uh
so glad we found the shield rod. Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna love doing this without bat. <laughs> oh, wait, no way. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, we got a duplicator. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, salvage, salvage. We're in. We're we're so back. Uh, I might need to. Uh, might need to save because. Um, it it would suck to lose that. Well, let's go. <laughs> if only we had bats, that would be we'd be like mega cruising right now. But it's okay. We have infinite library cards, which means that we don't need to like use save splits anymore. In fact. Uh, actually, it's okay. Oh, come on. Imagine, imagine a world where you didn't have uh, diagonal gravity jumps, which is technically like, you know, kind of emergent. It's emergent tech. That's what I mean. This would be so brutal without it. That form is so satisfying. Like, holy hell, this game from '97 feels smoother than game in 2024. Yes, exactly. You know, I know, right? It's actually crazy. The gravity jumps are, are wicked sick. Shaman shield, funny. Uh, that might actually not be shaman shield, but whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is. Oh my goodness, it was here. It was here. It was here all along. Oh, when I get mad, when I get bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, I'm gonna do something I almost never do. I'm gonna get the outer wall warp and <laughs> reverse outer wall, and then we're gonna library card. Because I don't think there's any reason to stay here now that we found mist. Because bat is probably behind mist, which would mean that, uh, we're actually okay. We're in an okay spot. If I had just believed and gone left side, then all would have been well. But unfortunately, that was not the case. But yeah, when we get bat, we are video gaming. Okay, let me use the library card. Duplicator was so clutch. Like, you guys don't even know. Everything was so clutch here, honestly. Everything. <clears throat> We have Mana Prism already, right? Let me just make sure we don't have anything that uh, is worth buying from a shop trip. Because uh, now we have Duplicator, we can just go and... S oh, we have Buffalo Star! Oh my goodness! The combat! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we will be... I don't know. I mean, I feel like Alucard Shield Spell is better than Buffalo Star's, but... We can basically do whatever we want. <laughs> that's that's for sure. All right. Aries. Um, kind of want to get Aries to be honest. Just one. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Nothing Farewell. really changed because we already got good item drops here. Ah, uh, Aries would put us to zero defense. I don't know if I want that. We don't really need extra attack like that anyway. We're already like in a great position attack wise, so. Yep, let's uh, we still can't do all rocks in logic. So we have to really hope that bat is vanilla. It would be so goaded if it's vanilla. Wow, 
what is correct. What? Oops, wrong shield. <clears throat> Please. Uh, spike breaker. So is bat, um, is bat silver ring? We haven't even found the rings. Oh my goodness. Oh, this could be very bad. Uh, how much do I want to like, do I just want to chase complexity right now? Or should I actually think about this? Spike breaker. Cause what if we missed like merman? Second castle. Kind of want to just do all rocks right now, though. We have mana prisms. Yeah, I don't want to be taken all around, so let's do the all rocks checks with silvering. We don't, it's not in logic, but uh, we can do them because. Um, wait, hold up. It might actually be, it might they might actually not require you to have power of mist to be able to do it. So I might be mistaken there, which would not be a great thing. But uh, actually, no, that would be better than needing to go back to second castle for like merman or something. I think we're okay. I just really wish I had wolf or bat. Even like wolf would be completely fine here. I wouldn't mind having wolf. Of course, I'd rather have Bat, but Wolf would be okay. <clears throat> so let's do All Rocks. And I'll keep the cube of Zoe on until we find uh, Stopwatch, because I don't think we really are going to use Holy Water. Not with the insane combat we have. Oh yeah, if I had gone straight to creature, we would have been video gaming. Because I forgot, you can't do... You can't do Akhmadon without a transformation. But I'll never forget that again. Now, what am I even looking for still? Oh my goodness. What? What? Okay, there's one of the rings. Yeah, that wasn't logic, so. 
course, because of mist. What? 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 Um, I'll refill. It'll take a little bit of time, but I think it's uh, gonna help out a little bit for um, Silver Ring. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the developers put that in there uh, knowing something, that's for sure. Because that, that, that voice line only happens when, like, Alucard is, like, clipping through a part that he's not supposed to be able to get to. Uh, like, at least at least that's expected by the vanilla game. So, th the developers definitely knew something when they were playtesting. It's really cool. There's some other, like, cool, uh, what's it called? I don't, I don't know if it's, like, Easter eggs is the right word, but, um, oh, there's a Vlad. Uh... Yeah, there's other cool, like, Easter eggs, I guess, where um, certain cutscenes won't happen if you take, like, the non... Like, if you if you deviate off, I guess, the expected path, then there's, like, a Maria cutscene after Hippogriff that doesn't happen. I think it's if you visit Coliseum before... Um, or not Coliseum. If you uh, defeat Richter... Not defeat Richter. Oh, my goodness. You get the Richter cutscene before... Uh, before you fight Hippogriff at um, Chapel, then the cutscene at Chapel doesn't happen. What am I looking for? Spy Breaker, right? Okay. Uh, that is not Spike Breaker. There we go. Okay, please, please, please be bad. Okay, good. Whew. All right. Grand Falloon will be skipped. That's for sure. Looking good for Grand Falloon skipping today. All right, let's go get Final Vlad, which should be at Spike Breaker. I should actually change the loadout now. Yeah, it is time. Oh, yeah. I should uh, put on the Mana Prism. Where is it? We got one. The literal lucky drop at the very beginning of the game. I'm so glad. Like, this seed ended up being genius on accident. <laughs> uh, I should also... I could use Buffalo Star, to be honest. We'll, we'll make it fun. We'll switch up the combat for the rest of the run. All the card shield is too OP. <laughs> Ah, come on. That was like the worst place to get cursed, but it's fine. I'm getting back in the flow of wing smashing on a controller where the wing smash actually works. <laughs> Also, I should be playing this like nimble, so I, I don't need to like really worry too much um, about mana, because we're always going to have mana. But yeah, we're, we're video gaming now. I should probably also take, a, take off uh, Spike Breaker after spike room because I want to have good armor for second castle uh we didn't find merman did we oh my god what, what am I doing we didn't find merman right so uh I have wait actually hold up this could be merman there's a chance for this to be merman and not uh and not the final Vlad outright in fact that's probably what it is because we didn't find the other rings, did we? Hmm. Yeah. 
I mean, we have no choice but to go there. Really. I feel like the order I did this in was still like the best order, because you know, who's gonna skip that, right? The Omega Punish would have been if Merman was in Second Castle as well. That would have been just brutal. Oh, come on. Oh, I f why am I doing this? I, 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 I literally said earlier, this is nimble. We don't need to go to save rooms. And then I went to a save room. This is Merman, okay. I mean, what could we have done about that, right? Uh, I think it might be faster to just go there manually, yeah. I tried to wing smash like four different times there, I think. But I was trying to wing smash down, which is like the hardest direction to wing smash, so. Okay, let me, uh, let me use a shield for just these, um, fire people. Whatever they're called. <laughs> Let me use the shield. It's immediately bodied. Okay, there we use the save room for a good reason, because we need to fill up the health. <laughs> Buffalo start. Come on. There we go. Come on. the duplicator so I shouldn't be too careless. Oh! <laughs> 
Yep, final blood. So, wait, we didn't need holy glasses, huh? That's interesting. on the elixir in the other hand, honestly. I don't think we need the buffalo star anymore. Oh yeah, we can't shield dash then. True. It's fine. Just, uh, or we can't back dash cancel. Just front slide. Uh-oh. Did I? Oh, no. I never got the warp. Okay. Uh, That's a blunder. Alright. Hmm. That is a blunder. It's okay. did kill Crossmon though, right? So I think I just forgot to get the warp. Very basic mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. Um, let me actually just use uh, Buffalo Star. Yeah, Konami's so weird with the IPs. Yep. That's that's what they get away with, you know. Yeah, they can take the Capcom approach. To be fair, like they did make a a billion good games back then, right? Uh and they could write on that. But even for Symphony of the Night, they haven't done a PC port yet, which they can make a lot of money from. 
and yet they haven't done it. So, who knows? Oh, that was clean. Let's go. Oh, uh, we can go this way. Left side gamers. Hmm. I should take the warp. I just realized. That will save time here. But yeah, I think... Uh, I think they get away with it because... Um, they legitimately did make good games at this time. And, you know... That's how it goes. Uh, let's do Aquanon quickly before doing the rest of the left side. It's a weird route, but it works. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another library card there too. Funny. Meal ticket. Okay, never mind. Baited. The classic. So it's good that we found that one library card earlier. Because there would have been no guarantee at finding another one. We can do Buffalo Star for this fight. And then maybe for Dracula, we'll do Oliver Shield again. I feel like that's more fun. Um. Mana Prism, where are ya? I pick up too many items, so my menu gets like really cluttered <laughs> after a long after like the seeds gone on for a long time. Hmm, yeah, I figured. Should have say split this actually. That would have been huge brain genius. Okay, let's do the rest of left side. So close. Oh, I shouldn't go this way. Right. Not nice right there. Thank you. 
save. Do, uh, we'll do Echo first. I forgot what weapons we have, Yasutsuna. But, mm, okay, fine, we'll just, whatever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not that. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. Oh no. Please. Ah, uh, no, no. Okay, good thing we saved. Wow, Mana Prism saved me there, the iframes. Like this area is like a lot harder to navigate with that than it looks, that's for sure. Ow. Okay, uh, we'll just save split because I'm lazy or we'll reset because I'm lazy. Doppelganger, please, death, please, one of you. I know you've got the Vlad somewhere. Surely it's not Grand, Grand Floon, right? You know, it would suck too if it's actually like just shared holy glasses or whatever. I don't know. Also, I forgot to do the shield spell, didn't I? Uh, that's fine. We'll just do... Oh, that's bad. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh, this is going to take forever now. Great. Okay, you know what? Let's just do the... <laughs> the shield spell. Oh my goodness. Uh, where's Alucard's shield? And we'll remove duplicator because I care about my uh, defenses a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, definitely no trouble there. Yeah, no trouble, right, guys? Uh, where's Mana Prism? I think it's the bottom, yeah. Oops. Uh... Oh, that is not what we want to see. Uh, I shouldn't be shield dashing, right? You bought a stick not too long ago. You might play a Metrovania with it to get used to it. Oh, that sounds sick. Yeah, yeah. People Actually, some people do play Symphony of the Night with, like, arcade stick-style controllers. Like, uh, several people that play with Hitbox. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. Ah. We are good, I think. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're good, I think. I think. I'm just gonna do that, just in case. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness. Those have been smashes. We're good at the end. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, there are a lot of people that actually play Symphony of the Night with arcade stick style controllers. And it seems reasonable for like Richter stuff. I will say that. Uh, Richter, Richter mode has like a lot of fighting game style inputs, so uh, it's probably like ideal for that actually.
But yeah, uh, I personally think like it's still just fine on um, controller, at least for all the card stuff. Hey, let's go. Death is my homie. GG. Uh, what's the fastest way out? All rocks? Yeah. Actually, I should practice this movement here. Because, uh... That, that is not how you do it. There we go. Okay, kind of messed it up still, but it's fine. You're trying to get out of the habit of using it for a bit. <laughs> then you immediately switch back to pad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, uh, you know, it, controller's just comfortable, right? I still use Arcasic for fighting games, but at this point, it's just like maybe stubbornness. It might not be. Oh, this is the wrong place. It might not be because stick is better for the fighting games I play. Although for KOF, I do think it's a little better. But it's more so like I'm just too comfortable in it. You know, I'm so used to it at this point that it's kind of hard to switch off. Also, I just realized this was a full left side seed. Right side had nothing. Right side had zilch. Nada. Oh my goodness. Go away. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely the used to it part because I don't really think uh, fighting games are like better on our case necessarily why are these uh train boosts happening but anyway yeah i don't think our uh, fighting games are better on arcade stick necessarily but it's more so just you know once you get comfortable with something it's hard to switch off of it so okay and then the other thing too is if you ever uh if you ever go to like an event Controllers are just way easier to take with you, from what I've come to realize. <laughs> like, bringing a stick through airport, through TSA, is the worst. <laughs> they're, they're bound to do some insidious stuff with it, whether they realize or not. And it just it's just so annoying. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. And that's where, like, taking a controller is just much more of a breath of fresh air. Um, but if you're playing at home, I do think it's, like, it's nice to play it on a stick, you know? It's It makes it feel like you're playing at the arcade, which I think is something pretty underrated for playing fighting games in general. Like, just giving, you, giving yourself, like, an experience that feels, like, you know, a little bit more engaging. Ah, oh, darn, I didn't... <laughs> I'm so silly. If I die here, it's my fault. There we go. <laughs> Had to use the iframes to get back inside the circle. Dragler should be easier. Because <laughs> you just hold the shield the whole way. Man, next time I should have a poll for what weapon to use for <laughs> the bosses. Because yeah, this seed, we just had, like, everything. For combat, at least. It was looking, like, nimble towards the end. Alright, GG. Go back Is that a 145 flat? Let's go. Alright, um... As usual, I'm gonna take a break. When I come back, we'll start the Vernal Edge. So enjoy the credits. And yeah, you have been doomed ever I'll be right back. Lost the ability to love. Huh. Ah, this 
sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. T'would be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell, then. We'll not meet again. Alucard... Don't you want to go after him, Maria? No. It's best this way. I can't ease his torment. Someday, perhaps, we will meet again. And on that day, maybe. I see. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Yes. Let's get out of here. Someone testing me every day I live. Well, the best in me is all I have to give. I can't pretend. I can't pretend. I am the way. And I don't know if I will pass this way. 
Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Yeah, fun seed. Um, considering Jewel was early, I mean, uh, could we really call this Jewel early? Because uh, we got gravity boots first. Um, yeah, I think I think it's safe to say that like this was a reasonable safe seed, one of the better ones out of the ones that I've done on stream. And then of course we had nice combat, so that always helps. Yeah, I gotta make sure to stay clean on the prologue in case we get situations or like we had for the seed library card is the prologue reward. So that'll be good to keep in mind. It ended up paying off to uh, use that library card early because we still found another one along with duplicator and we hadn't used the existing library card that we found before the duplicator was found, so that that worked out really well. I think the route overall was good. The one maybe severe, bad, severely bad decision was uh, not getting the warp like Castle Keep, but you know that's you know that's easy to fix. The other one is just guessing wrong. <laughs> I mean, part of it is that I, re I didn't realize I didn't have a transformation, so I couldn't go to. Akhmadon in Castle 2. Not that it mattered because right side had nothing. But that that was uh, interesting. It's just that going left side without... Uh, like, I didn't have Mist or Bat. So going left side is painful without those. But at the end of the day, if like... You know, if Medusa doesn't have anything, you can't even get one of the bosses in left side. so Or right side. So it's like, eh. But yeah. Um, and yeah, something popped in my head during the break, um, but not Gildas. Uh There are a couple of Metrovanias where, like other than like, you know, maybe Richter mode of Symphony of the Night, where playing on a arcade, arcade stick style controller is useful. Uh, I would say actually unrestricted categories of after image are good for that because the dash canceling is pretty difficult to do on controller. It's doable, but it's not easy. Um, I'd say it's much easier with like keyboard or the equivalent and arcade stick would fall under that too. Uh, and then I think Bloodstained Ritual of the Night has a new game plus character where playing on, uh, playing on like a hip box or a mix box is pretty rewarding, so. That is an option too. But yeah, uh, I think I think it's not accidental that a lot of these Metrovanias that lean towards uh, Castlevania side rather than Metroid side are able to have um, uh, cool movement that like fits well with playing on these kinds of controllers. No accident. Okay, uh, I just wanted to see the in-game time. So 116 is pretty good. All right, let's get Vernal Edge booted up. Uh, why is the volume not there? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I forgot Vernal Edge volume is quite faint. Yeah, okay. So there we are. We'll get the camera back as well. I just need to rearrange the scenes before that. Um, then, of course, increase the audio level. So I hope we're on home stretch for this game. I dear hope so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I forgot where we last left off. I didn't look at the VOD. So we'll have to regain the bearings organically. Come 
Come on now. Please. There we go. rearranged. Alright, that should be good. Audio and all. Okay. Now hopefully my controls still work and I don't have to change anything. Uh, oh no. I do. Oh, you know what? No, that's not true. Because I forgot I don't play this game on this controller. So one moment, guys. Let me plug in the other one. thing is to get the right controller display. then uh probably should go outside first oh we have everything right we did we did the stuff here and some lady gave us the last thing so now we can go here i think that was it there was another thing i wanted to do though i wanted to check back on an earlier area to grab something i couldn't grab earlier with wall run but i forgot how we got there <laughs> It was like through some unreality portal. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was nearby, but turned out not to be. These are like some extra areas. We already done the majority of the stuff there. Uh, definitely not this. Not this either. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I can't remember which one. I don't think it was this, but we can just see. Oh, I think it might have been actually. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was this. Let's let's find out though. And we can also wall run right now, so let me not waste too much time otherwise. Just have to remember how to navigate this place because uh, it's been some time. The other thing too is once we do get where we have to be, uh, which uh, yeah, I don't I don't even know. Okay, okay, yeah, it is here for sure. But which direction? I forgot. I think it's eliminatable, thankfully. So. This is not where we could have gone because, yeah, this was locked already, I think. Do 
we have super jump? I guess I should check. Oops. I should check the abilities that we have right now. Water slide, pulse fly. Yeah, yeah, okay. We have the, f the fly thing, whatever. Yeah. So that's taunt, right? But I don't have a lot of resources for that. Oh dear, what is this? What could this be? Save point? Dire. I don't know. Maybe not right now. But we got some pulse back, so that's good. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I mean, it does look likely, but, you know. Uh, I'd rather hold that one off until it's absolutely necessary. Well, uh, maybe we don't even have a choice, do we? Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a choice. Okay. Well, this is probably where we have to go next. I want to see if I can delay that. How long I can delay it, for that matter. Ah, save, man. Okay, it's fine. It's not that hard to get it back, so. Skip all these enemies that I really don't have the energy to waste time with. Um, there's a portal exit upwards, so we should do that one. How do we get up? Uh... I think it was, yeah, it was there. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do the shortcut that is now allowed because we have wall run. So, this is on the ship, right? Yeah, okay, good, good. This is where we wanted to go. I don't know why we have to get to the ship exclusively through this method, but you know what? Whatever. Okay. I think it was this way, yeah. But it does look like, apart from the clear place we have to go, we probably have to, uh... We probably have to go to that other place that was locked behind Super Jump. Or Flight, whatever it's called. Here? Yeah. Alright, this better have been worth it. <laughs> Critical comeback. Just another one of these, really. Alright, not worth. Not worth. But it's fine. At least I understand now what they would have expected for the player to be able to do to get there. Oh, there's... Okay, I'm so glad I looked at the map. There's one more spot that's similar. I should not forget that one. It's this way. Yeah. Um... Oh, I see. Okay, it's not going to be, like, brain-dead easy, which is fine. Really. <laughs> Do I have to hit it again? on
residual energy. Interesting. I think it's kind of late for that to be useful, but might as well apply it still. Hmm. Counterburst. Never know. Maybe there's some threatening enemies along the way that I haven't encountered yet. Yeah, okay, that's all. Okay. Let's see where this leads then. too far, yeah. Okay. Oh, oops, yeah. Flights. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Hold up, we've been here. Have we not? Like we've been here. Oh, we have, man. Okay, let me just get out of here. Can't remember what path we would have taken to get here, but we have been here, so no, no use in going. I at least got the other stuff that I missed. So we can just go straight to that tower then. Uh, where is it? I'm sure there's one more thing I'm forgetting, but it doesn't matter. Let's finish this if we can. So this is it, yeah. Finally got him. Yep, we're being expected, I guess. Oh, what a question. Oh, that's hinting at the fact that uh, this is probably the end of the game indeed. I think we were right. 
If you need anything else, then this is it. So yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I'm good. I'll just go ahead and proceed. Yeah. All right, this is Asphodel's chamber, supposedly. Lovely. It's like, you're gonna need this save point. Okay, flight already. Hmm. Holy, you've probably been playing it for a while, but it, I feel, it feels really short. Do you know your playtime on B? Uh, 13 hours, it seems like, in counting. Um, yeah, it's not been... I mean, it's it's still a short game, but, like, it's definitely longer than it probably should be. <laughs> I should have said that in a different way, but you get what I mean. I think the reason why it's long is, like, not a good reason, is but what I'm saying. It's, like, it's long because of, like, quality of life issues, not long because it's actually a big game, you know? So that's, I guess, the... That's the trouble, I guess. You know? Alright, a neat little platformer to end off this game, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. am. Uh oh. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Ow. I feel like I'm forgetting the movement options right now. So I'm trying to double jump instinctively, I guess, but, you know, can't do that. Uh, so glad the mini-map exists, because that would be dire otherwise. <laughs> finish off the game, yes, with some more gauntlets, my very favorite. Should parry more, because, uh, in fact, let me remind myself, oh, I can't, can't even check. All right. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got like some taunt attack that I was going for every time, right? But I started focusing more on the parry eventually. Okay. 
Come on. So this last section is like a set piece, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is funny. I don't I don't wanna figure out what red means, so I'm just gonna ignore the red. Okay. Also I should just ignore these enemies in general. I don't think there's any reason to fight them. I think at least. Okay. Seems like we needed that. Ah, that's one of two, I see. We need another switch. Oh no. Okay. Not too bad. waves and waves of enemies. Ow. Okay, that's that's actually not good. Let me pulse there. I think Time Bomb is still my favorite. Uh, still my favorite um, spell. Which seems the most useful. Oh my goodness, I went right into that. Enemy is back. Let's go. I missed you. Oh, did I miss the damage? Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, I forgot. I can deflect projectiles too. That's another ability I picked up. Hop in. Oh, hey, my favorite. My favorite. Just had one of these in uh, Radarinth for that matter. Oh, that comes in fast. Okay. Wait, what? What happened? <laughs> Retrade, you've been summoned. <laughs> yep, I think we're at the in game sequence. So you came right in time. I 
I I don't know. Did I did I mess up? Cause it didn't feel right. Like I I got like absorbed by the, or not absorbed, engulfed by the uh, the wall of death, the scrolling wall. But um. Yeah, something, something, my grand plan. <laughs> <clears throat> Wants to create a whole new world, huh? Where have I heard that one before? Alright, time to fight him. T time to beat him up. Decidedly. Well, we're still in the tower, so I guess I haven't died yet. They give me a save point so generously. Oh dear, here is it. Here it is, huh? Vernal. Why are we fighting her? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I am no lackey. You understand absolutely nothing. You pathetically stumbled your way through. Obstacle after obstacle carried by the pulse edge. <laughs> Sing how it is. Alright, very well. We fight Astral Maria again. Alright, she's definitely uh, means business this time. I want to use that time bomb for sure. Can I set multiple on at once? Well, I won't be able to find out right now. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Ah, uh, that's bad. Yeah, I think uh, it's going very well so far. Silly mistakes on part of me. How did I not die from that? Okay, well, there we go. We'll, we'll start again. Yeah, carried. Yeah. <laughs> carried I am, too. I just want to throw a time bomb and be done. All right, let's, let's fight her for real. Thankfully, this game auto skips cutscenes after you've seen them already. Uh, well, at least they show a little bit of it, so that you'd remember why you're fighting, which is fine. Oh, oops. Uh. Oh my goodness, her aim is insane. Okay, that should hit. Safe. Oh, I don't get much at all. <laughs> you are nothing. Okay, what's up now? There's a good window. It's true, I'm carried. I'm willing to admit it. I'm just running away. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, let's go. Missed my taunt attack. Come after me, you noob. Oh, okay, we're good. She's not carried like you are, exactly. I know, right? I just want to throw a time bomb and be done, dude. You already know. Oh, I forgot. I have to actually listen for the voice line for that. That's hilarious. Because there's not really an... Oh, what is this? Okay. Alright, learning, learning. Uh, surely there's a better way to navigate that one. Probably blocking. <laughs> as odd as it sounds, I probably have to block that one. Can't dash, because the dash is a cooldown. This game doesn't want you to dash through stuff. Nope, she means business this time. Oh, come on, I was trying to block. Okay, actually, you know what? Hold up. Genius idea. Uh, so, well, that didn't work there. But let me try to, let me try to parry her stuff, if that's possible. Let me make sure I can even parry in the first place.
Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay, I can do it. So I'm actually going to unequip some of these that I don't need for sure. Like Skybreaker, probably not. I got to remember some of these anyway. <clears throat> do I really want to do the taunt stuff? It's funny, but I don't know if it's good for this fight. And we don't need that for sure. Counterburst is decent. Okay, Swift Charge is good. I think we can get one more of those. And sure. Yeah. Come on, save. There we go. All right, now I just got to remember <laughs> to use the ones that I just uh, re-equipped. Yep, okay, I was able to deflect some of them. My attack isn't fast enough to uh, deflect as quickly as she does the attacks. Oh, she teleports behind? Also, can I just straight up not block her stuff? Oh, darn. That's unfortunate. I don't know if I can block her stuff. You're nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's true. I am carried by the pulse edge. Oh, come on. I dashed that one. I disagree. Highly disagree. Oh, she recovers the... Ugh, that sucks. Okay, yeah. We have to block those. Alright. She sounds like a league player. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is a league player. All right, all right, this is this fight is not bad, but I really want to land time bombs because they're cool. Or it's, it's not bad from what I've seen so far. You never know. Counterburst. Oh come on. Pulse. Pulse. There we go. That's some damage. Let's go. Look at that damage. Woo. Oh, these things come fast. Okay. All right, understood. Oh, what? Again? Oh, actually, okay, wait, we can dash them. Oh, I'm dead. What is this? Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, okay, we live, we live, we live. How do we live? That's unbelievable. Okay, let me not throw right now. That would be unbelievable. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't dash. I didn't dash from close enough. Okay, okay. One, one more time, one more time. We got it this time. Yes, I get it. I'm carried by the pulse edge. I know. <laughs> Oh, come on. I blocked. Oh, this is a terrible attempt so far. 
Honestly, it's better for me to heal as much as I can on this part so that uh, I have enough like room for air on the next part. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I missed the block. You're kidding me. Ah, that not good. Not good. Not what we like to see. Okay, I should have dashed the other way. Oh my goodness. Oh! What is this? Oh, she doesn't even do that much damage on that part. Huh. Okay, interesting. Oh, we can put multiple bombs on her at once. Love to see it. Oh! I'm so dumb. Oh, what am I doing? That, that one was definitely the attempt, too. Okay, okay. I tried time bombing. There we go. Stop running away. Decent damage, not the best, but we'll take it. <clears throat> oh, too early. Okay. Ah, oh, I. Wow. Oh, that. That does so much damage. I guess it's, it depends on how much health you have. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. <laughs> you don't know what you have. Good luck, you'll need it. Alright, alright, I get it. I get it, I'm carried. I assume there's another boss, right?
Well, this is a surprise. Have you changed your mind? <laughs> That's, uh... Oh, great. A tour? What is this? Oh. <laughs> so I can just leave then? Mainer midpoint. Hmm. I guess they just give me an opportunity to do some other stuff again. Okay, well. Well, well. Uh. Yeah, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. All right, so there's more. We're not done yet. That's what this means. Mm, where do I go? This game, <laughs> uh, sad. This game really did not need to not have a map, like. Whatever. There's not really anything going on here, is there? Yeah, haha, face these four rooms before you can face me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What a noob. Oh, wait, that, that might be the count. I, I think I saw something counting earlier, so that might be what that's for. Let me see. Yeah. All right. Easy, easy. Oh, come on. She could look down, but you know. What am I gonna do? Oh, there's one. Did that one? I didn't think I did. Hmm. So there might be one underneath. No. So let me check. Okay, where's the last one? Maybe I mixed it up. So was that all we had to do there? Oh, great. I see what's going on here. This is hilarious. All right. Uh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... <laughs> uh, Yep. The, the lead up to the end of the game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, that is exactly the emotions I have, like all three of those for this game. <laughs> 
exactly all three of them. Nothing in between. Oh, that was it for that one? Just a cutscene? <laughs> So basically, these are just mandatory cutscenes. <laughs> oh, 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 baited, baited. <laughs> Let my guard down. Not a cutscene. <laughs> that was a setup. Oh, that that's that's beautiful. I love it. You just you just gotta create like a a sense of a pattern. Get get uh, the player to get too comfortable with the, the peace and calm. I understand. Okay. I I understand. I see what's going on here. Uh, come on. That's not who I wanted to give the mark. But whatever, I'll take it. You know what? I'm gonna use this. The sooner I use it, the sooner I can build it back. Endless. Oh, man. Oh, how was I supposed to see that? Wow, destroyed. Imagine if this, there were just spikes down there. Would have been hilarious. Oh. Well. Mm. Well, this game is generous. That The hazard damage is relatively tame. I should just fly up there. What am I doing? Uh, I didn't have enough pulls. Well, so much for that. Alright. We have to learn how to jump across these things. Yeah, I'm just not detecting the corner when I press dash into it.
I wonder if like no 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 surely not This is going to be fun. Oh, timer. Yay. Don't even know what I'm being timed on. Guess we'll find out. Okay, I think I see what's going on. That was close. Oh my goodness. Let's build some pulse. Actually, we can regain our health in this way, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more timers. Starting over. I wonder what's even the purpose of this. I have to fly, probably, right? Let me see. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I see. Yeah, you can't fly up there. I mean, maybe you could, but... Yeah, I doubt it. We'll, we'll, we'll just do this. Come on. No! Ah, come on. I threw. <laughs> okay, okay. One more time. Surely this time will be it. You know what? I'm gonna... Okay, that didn't make a difference. Alright, looks like I definitely have to... Make use of the slopes. Or at least try to. That's it. No chance there. I got stuck. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Okay, there we go. Last time. <laughs> Another save point there. There he is, in the flesh. Thought this would be easy, didn't you? 
Oh my goodness. Ah, ah, I'm not gonna like this. This is like some, uh, I don't know, Aria of Sorrow looking boss. <laughs> This look any this is look familiar at all to you guys? <laughs> Graham, much? I wonder if these have separate health bars, because this guy's just chilling in his chair. He's not doing anything. What a nut! What a noob! Oh darn! I'm the noob here. Dash, I think. Uh, no, I disagree. I disagree. Oh, well. Did I skip? Did I skip this CT or did it start like that? It just started like that. I joke not. I sacrificed everything. What is this? My wife, my child, my closest friends. You wouldn't let that be in vain. What is this? You Okay, this is the real boss. All right, I figured. Naturally, right? Okay, okay, okay. He means business. This shouldn't be that bad, but he means business. Oh dear, danger. Ah, very bad. Okay, that's actually way more reasonable than it looks. Because they only appear in order. What is this? I have no idea what was going on there, but that's how it always goes, right? Does anyone really know what they're doing? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. So I do have to be both of these fellows, or do I have to be both bosses in a row? Yeah, jump for is locking on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have to do these both in a row. That's why he's like, you thought this would be easy, didn't you? Well, this is just the time waster boss then, honestly, because it's not even like... This is just like regular enemies, pretty much, and then he's just sitting in the chair. Like, that is disrespectful. The devs are... Uh, the, the devs are up to something. Let me, let me be nice. <laughs> Oh, that goes <laughs> that goes around again. <laughs> that is that is hilarious. Learn something new. I should save my mana. Also, it looks like you just hit any of them. This get yeah, yeah, dude, you knew what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is that was exactly what I was gonna say, but uh Yeah. My closest friends. Alright. Alright, I get it. I let me just time bomb you and then do your thing. Thank you very much. Come on, man. Oh, this guy doesn't have any poise, so time bomb actually might not be good. Why do you persist? All right, is this one? Okay, yeah, it's it's an order, so. So, we're. Uh, I wouldn't say chilling, but. Oh my goodness. Why do you persist? I don't. I don't understand that at all. But no sure. Respect. Oh, that was bad. Soon you'll understand. This is fun. Are you having fun, guys? I don't know about you, but this is uh. Wait, what is this? What the? Wait, wait, hold up. That I did not do that. I did not do that. Was that my friend? The power of friendship? Hold up. 
I think that was the power of friendship, folks. Okay, that attack looks a little bit... Okay, then, yeah, that, that was my fault at the end, but... The other attack where he just, like, <laughs> teleports behind you permanently. I think I need to slow down and just uh, dash right when he's about to do the attack. But looks like it's pretty active, potentially, so... Yeah, Vernal Edge was the friends made along the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was funny. Yeah, I really... Mm, I really don't agree with making the player do this part of the fight again. Because it's like... I don't know. It, this This reminds me of, like, the whole point after attempt debate in American football where like it's like should NFL teams need to take the field goal after <laughs> after the touchdown right like obviously this is entertaining for you guys right my having to fight this boss but it's also just like a formality I don't know <laughs> and then if I mess it up then it's like really bad like I am doing right now that's how this feels oh how did I take damage there Okay, this is kind of not good. Oh, that's what I got hit by. I see. Did this? Did it ever do that attack the first time? I don't remember. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't remember if it did that fireball attack the first time. The first two times. Oh, I didn't use Time Bomb. I said I should conserve my mana, but I think it's worth using Time Bomb if it makes the fight go faster. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like this might be a good time to use it because my mana will have recovered when I face the second part. Come on, I did the pulse attack, really. Oh, oops, wrong way. Oh, that went. Oh, that's a mix-up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that's terrible. And I'm not gonna build enough meter to be able to use. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that that's not good. Okay. I need like a little more health so that I don't have to use pulse early. Oh no, never mind. They give me Oh, they give me full health. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't notice. friends. You wouldn't let that be in vain, would you? I guess I should pay attention. Oh, come on. I whatever. Ow. Oh my goodness, the sky. Oh, wait, what? What did I take damage from? No respect. Oh, those iframes are persist? suspicious. Soon you'll understand. Hey, everyone's favorite part. Oh, I see. So she comes in to interrupt that part of the attack. Oh, come on. Why do you persist? Man. Oh, this is bad. Okay. This is bad. I see. Yeah. I see what's going on there. Yeah, you have to time it. Why do you persist? Oh, this is bad. Mm, yeah. Misread the explosions. Him sitting on his little blue body. Why do you persist? Yeah. 
Agreed. Uh, I don't know where my last mana point could be spent. But I just need a block, to be honest. And we'll be fine. I'm not blocking. I'm not using the mechanics. I just, you know, I'm just turning off my brain. <clears throat> well, who wants to block and use their brain? Didn't, didn't buy this game to block. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to, like, uh, stay far away from the things on the side because those things have uh, the fireballs, which you don't have time to react to. They just do them. And then attacking the head seems good enough, to be honest. Oh, I forgot to add air dash down. True. Mechanics? Okay. Alright, the power of friendship. I've sacrificed everything. My wife, my child, my closest friends. You wouldn't let that be in vain, would you? I sacrificed everything. Oh, come on. What a loser. What a loser. Oh my goodness. Wait, is, is this all he's doing now? Or is it because I'm like running away? The only reason those uh, fireballs are being deflected after is because I have the deflect plus uh, attack being done on the dash. But I'm surprised. I guess I guess uh, the types of attacks it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sacrificed everything. Wow. Dude, this, we didn't even really get characterization from this guy until, like, right now. Also, I am major throwing. Oh my goodness. I disagree. Oh my goodness, the fireballs. Yeah, all right. They both fireball. All right, makes sense to me. <coughs> all right, less, less uh, face rolling. <laughs> we gotta do more. Patience, but I gotta land melee attacks too, because otherwise I won't be able to pulse at all against this boss. But first things first, time bomb. Uh, that's not time bomb. And that is. Oh, he's wait. So the attacks are not even consistent. It's probably based on where I'm currently uh, placed on the screen. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, was that worth it? No. No respect. Why do you persist? No respect. Soon you'll understand. Suspicious her box pit boxes. Wait, does he ever hit himself up there? I wonder. Cause I kinda wanna like be able to hit him. That's a good time to hit him, for sure. Oh, that... I did no damage to him. Oh, my goodness. That is... 
tilting. No respect. Ow. Oh, what? I didn't get my attack off? Okay, there we go. The pulse attacks did a billion damage. My own daughters, how could you? You were never my father. Nor mine. <laughs> oh, what happened to the killing? I thought, Vernal, you were gonna... What happened to that? Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you just vanished? Oh, if walk over here, this would be like the, the end of the Bound arc after Ichigo beat Karia. <laughs> you just vanished. Poofed. Oh, everyone just poofed. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. Looks like Shreveril is still there. Is this vanity? Is this emptiness? Oh, that is it. All right, um, <laughs> uh, man. All right, let me. Uh, <laughs> you guys, give me. Yeah, thanks for the GGs. Give me um, like a three-minute break. I need to compose myself, gather my thoughts, and then we can think about how to explain my thoughts in this game. Um, I did not expect the ending to be so abrupt, but, uh, as it is. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back in three minutes.
I'm back. Uh, I won't make the same mistake as Prince of Persia. Um, we'll try to give this like a hard limit of a minute or so. A minute more, more than uh, a minute longer. There we go. Words are hard. And then we'll um, skip if possible. I like, of course, I I normally want to let the credits play out, but. For the sake of streaming, we don't have all the time in the world. A lot of people worked on this game, though, given it's an indie game. Obviously, these are backers, not, um, I, I imagine Kickstarter backers or Patreon backers, but um, still, I saw earlier in the credits a lot of people were working on it. So, uh, yeah, that one minute's about to come near. Wow. Yeah, plenty to talk about for this game, but uh, I think I'm in the right frame of mind to be able to say what I want to say. Okay, one minute's gone by. Scroll faster. Okay, excellent. Well, that's going. Let me get uh, let me get the camera back in. Oops. It's a lot of backers, oh my goodness. Hey, look at that. I even got a percentage. 14 hours. Okay. Vicious difficulty unlocked too. Interesting. Which one is, which button is that? Turn the title screen. Neither of these are working. Okay, escape. I'll just do that. Uh, escape's not working either. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't tell me I've reached another soft lock. This is crazy. The consistency on soft locks at the end of the game. Well, it's happened twice, but that's still like strange for sure. Oh my goodness, don't tell me. This is unbelievable. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> to be fair, they don't have one name per line like Prince. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Also, hey, what's up, Ruby within? Yeah, um,. The the Prince of Persia credits, they were like, all right, we got to make the font size small. We got to have uh, like one person per line. 
we gotta let it scroll pretty slowly by default. I mean, this game scrolls pretty fast, but oh yeah, I think I'm soft locked. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Uh, I got the achievement. I have to presume that it's saved, right? <laughs> We're just gonna all the four. One moment, guys. Oh boy. It's not the first time either. How come this has happened more than once? All right, let's see. We, we have verification method for the percentage. Okay, fortunately, I think everything's intact. Vernal really makes you sit there and think after, uh, oh, sorry, let me get the chat back in. After finishing the game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't think that was intentional. I think there was something wrong there. I think we're good though, right? Let me see. Okay, yeah, so it, it did save, thankfully. Oh my goodness. If that was going to be like D-Lit in Wonder Labyrinth again, that would have been hilarious. But yeah, it, it looks like it did save. Okay. All right, let's go back in the save file. Yeah, we're here again. Uh, I'm not fighting the boss again. Let's talk about the game. Oh, let me get my notes up. I'll try not to spend too long like I did for Prince of Persia. After all, this game is much smaller in scope. Um, but there's a number of things that stood out. So I think to summarize this game, uh, it's an all right game. It's an all right Metroidvania. Bo both I can say pretty confidently. It feels all right as a game. feels all right as a Metroidvania. Um, there's a lot of great components that, great ideas, great components that were well executed in a vacuum individually for this game. So I can point out specific examples. The movement by itself feels really good. Uh, there are a number of times where it's hard to like get used to the controls, but I think there's a lot of great execution uh, execution ideas for the movement. And it feels like you're progressing at a pretty steady curve. There are some games, like even Prince of Persia, this was the case, but there are some games uh, where it won't feel like you're progressing with each successive upgrade at a smooth rate. But in this game, it did feel that way. Uh, maybe like Water Slide. I didn't really feel like that was that impactful, but there was like maybe one or two areas where that was actually used. I don't know. Maybe water slide is the weakest of the upgrade abilities. There was also the literacy one, which is, I guess, like a joke. Uh, I won't take that one seriously, right? But otherwise, I think it was a pretty solid curve. Like every other ability felt impactful. Uh, it felt nice to finally get pulse fly, especially in wall run. I think wall run was the most satisfying to get. It's very easy to apply. And it feels like you can at least, like, it, it feels like you're, you're at end game when you're making use of this. So I, I do appreciate the progression curve for this. Um, that being said, uh, all these ideas are well done individually. But I think combined, when you take all the ideas of the game, all the components of it, and put it together in the form of Vernal Edge, I think that's where this game kind of falls apart. I think of it as, I was telling one of my friends earlier in, like, a voice call offline that it feels like it feels like uh, a recipe or like a meal, like a dish that uses a lot of good ingredients, a lot of tasty ingredients, but then doesn't put them well together. And then the dish ends up tasting like not as good as the ingredients that were made to use it or that were used to make it. Uh, so why is this the case for this game, right? Because naturally you have a lot of good ideas. Why don't, why don't they come together well? well? Uh, I think mostly what brings this, what makes this game fall apart is the, I mean, this is not going to be any secret or surprise by any of you guys, but I think the combat encounters, they become dry and dull over time. And it's primarily due to two things. One, the tankiness and sponginess of every single enemy in the game. And two, how it feels like the encounters are not cohesive with the rest of the gameplay. You'll be like just strolling across like the world, right? The island that you come to. And then you'll suddenly stumble into some enemies. Not even like FF7 or traditional RPG style random encounters, but straight up just these are designated spots where you will encounter an enemy. You must fight them. You must engage with them. And once you do so, then you can proceed onward. It feels like the wrong way to... Ex it feels like the wrong way to... Um, go about showcasing how much effort you put into the combat system, which is another great component of the game, right? I do think the combat is cool, 
but the way it's executed in terms of the enemy battles and the enemy designs themselves, it's it's very dry. I think for a lot of people, it will become tiresome after a while. For me, I was able to endure it for most of the playthrough. Towards the end, I was like, all right, come on, you know? But that was more so when the game was indicating that the end was near. After I had acquired the five MacGuffins, um, it was like, okay, we're getting towards the end. Let me let me just get there, right? But then, no, you have to fight more waves of enemies. Uh, and it just didn't feel like connected to the world. For that matter, the enemy designs, a lot of them are pretty basic and you know they don't really feel like they have personality or character a lot of them feel like literal dummies i guess that's part of this game's aesthetic part of the game's uh role if you will but it does make it it it, it doesn't improve the sentiment around fighting them i'll put it that way and you are fighting the bosses you are fighting some of the characters which i think those encounters were cool most of the bosses are, are nice uh it's definitely not supposed to be like a hard game by any means uh, that that much is evident so i think the boss fights overall were fine in that regard if you keep that in mind but uh i do think the bosses for some reason were like i think the bosses were much more enjoyable to fight than the enemies mostly because i didn't have to feel like i had to engage with the the poise breaking mechanic which i think this is a big no-no for this game too like, I get it. It's like, hey, you break their poise, you get an opportunity to stun them, and then you combo them, right? But a lot of enemies just, like, recover out of it so fast. Like, I get you're supposed to, like, combo them, save your resources for it, but it also feels like you have to engage with it to keep your damage efficient, and then it doesn't feel like you have much time to make opportune use of it. Basically, like, the, all the enemies are just, yeah, it, it plays into, like, the fact that all the enemies are way too tanky. Um, but the combat by itself, I guess, is good. They put a lot of effort into it, for sure. And it goes well with, like, the nice... Again, the movement options are excellent. The progression I already mentioned is great, too. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do. Um, some of the controls aren't spectacular for them. I think there's some overlapping with the dash jump and the wall jump. If you do it specifically near, like, close enough to the wall, it seems like there's overlap with that. And you don't get your action back, necessarily. Because you can't, um, like, you can't, like, wall jump again, you know. So, you can wall run again, of course. But you can't wall jump again, so. That's a little tricky. It's not, like, a big deal. Uh, let me see. So, the other major point of this game, I think, is the overall, like, map design. Just, like, the progression philosophy this game has. Uh, it's supposed to be an overworld-based game. So, you have, you know central hubs that you can visit and you're given a lot that you can visit um at, at one point at each separate point in the game but i feel like the way this game handles it isn't spectacular either because it ends up being relatively linear like certain abilities are gonna unlock other abilities which are all, that's like the only way to really get to get like profound enough progress within an within like a certain hub or island. Otherwise you won't be able to progress in there. And not to mention, uh, I think for this kind of style to work, you have to, you have to make the player encouraged to like explore the full extent of every island. And I think in this game, that sense of being compelled to explore every part of the island was a little bit of a chore as opposed to like a joy. Um, and again, that, that plays into the fact that the maps are inaccessible for most of the areas. Some of the areas have maps somewhere random on the ground, like Hollow Knight style, where you just like pick it up, you know, and it's like, yay, I got the map. But I don't think that works for this game. And for that matter, the map, like just the overall quality of life, I don't think it m meshes well with the rest of the, you know, this open world style, because or overworld style, I should say. Because the map, like, the minute you find it, you're given the map of, like, basically the whole area, but you can't really do anything else with that map. You can't zoom in. You can't see where, the, like, save points are. You can't see where anything of interest that you've come across is. You can only see basic components of the terrain. It feels like the map is not the most useful. Once you get the mini-map, that's where it's like, okay, that's a bit more useful. And dare I say, like, mandatory the sooner you get the mini map the 
the sooner like this game becomes more bearable. Yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah, it's 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 kind of brutal. I think the quality of life really sets this game back because like I could give it a pass with regards to like the incoherence of the combat and the moment to moment traversal through the game. But then you have the quality of life stuff that really didn't need to be like this. Like it just feels like an excuse to get the player to, I don't know, explore it. Like it feels like the wrong motivation. F it feels like the wrong way to give the player the motivation to explore. Like, I think it has to be more organic than this. Because otherwise it can feel aimless and, n like, unfulfilling, you know? Um, like, I don't have a map still for this area, right? Which is fine, because there's not really a need for it. But without the mini-map, I also wouldn't know, like, where these spots were lead. Especially for this one. This one is like, what do you do, right? Like, you have no clue where things are if you don't have the mini-map. You have to, like, probably explore every single corner. Like, you know be super thorough and I don't know how many people have the patience for that especially given the fact that you can't like infinitely wall run up this thing so I don't know I th I, I think that this hub world style itself is fine and it's been done successfully before after all Order of Ecclesia had it but for Order of Ecclesia it was linear for a reason strictly linear and that game still has all the excellent quality of life components that Igarashi's you know we're accustomed to seeing in his games that he's worked on Retro said it earlier, time wasting type beat, legit, legit, yeah. It feels like just padding for the game, the game completion time. Because again, this game is pretty linear. Uh, maybe getting the MacGuffins, the order in which you get them might not be linear, but the progression abilities you get, especially early on when it's like, okay, just visit some islands and see what's around, right? Several of them, you can't even fully explore the extent of what they have until you get the respective progression ability. And I happen to guess right the first time, like the very first island I went to had the next progression ability, which was uh, not the dash, but the um, I think it was the wall jump. Uh, I'm not getting the wall jump right now. Oh my goodness. Well, trust me, I think wall jump is the next one. I, I can't remember. Oh no, it was the dive kick. It was a dive kick. Never mind. Yeah, this was the dive kick. So that was like the first one, and you can't really move on in the game without this. Uh, and then after that is, I think, the wall jump, which is, like, huge as well. Um, yeah, it, it's just a linear game at that point. And, it, and it's being linear while having the illusion of being open. And, like, you can do whatever you want, and we're not going to give you much guidance or quality of life. That actually just makes it worse, in my opinion. I'd rather have a non-linear game that doesn't give much guidance, but has like really good quality of life or, you know, at least gives you ways of tr tracing your steps as opposed, like this game has markers, but these are like, just like the most basic form of markers you can ever implement. And at this point, I don't even remember my system I had for color coding these. I mean, it's, like, again, it's like, I don't care. And then the fact that this game has a percentage for completion, I don't get what the percentage is even for. Like, I have 67%, but how do I even get to 100%? How do I know where I can find the spots that I didn't touch? Because the map doesn't... The map certainly does not tell you what spots you haven't covered. So, hmm. It, this, yeah, this is like... I'm, I'm normally okay with doing 100% if I like the game, and I did enjoy my playthrough of this game at the end of the day. But, like, I don't know. I, I, I have, I'm not really strongly motivated to finish up the percent because I have no clue where that percent is missing. Can I even visit the ship now? And you still can't even land on the ship. So that ship is just aesthetic. The only place where you can actually get on the ship is from uh, Baron Cave, I believe. The unreality from there. Which is hilarious, I guess. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I... Yeah. Th this, like, overworld idea is completely fine. But it definitely could have used a better implementation. Ooh, that would annoy uh, the bleep out of me. Knowing that the map is incomplete, but not knowing where I didn't go. Yeah, yeah. It might be memory equips and spells for extra percent. I dear hope so. That would be a relief, if so. Let me... Um, let me land somewhere.
and see. Because, yeah, I don't even know what the percent is going towards. I have to probably, like, you know, look on the Discord server or whatever they've got. Yeah, there's certainly some, like, additional spaces, right? And I didn't, I probably didn't empty the shop either. But I have no clue whether it's, like, map percent, which, you know, reasonable if so, but still, like, annoying, because I don't know where that would be. Or if it spells slash uh, memories, which, you know, could still be a matter of exploring every crack and crevice on each individual island. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I know I didn't do all the mini games, so that could be it too. But yeah, those were issues, glaring issues for that matter. Um, yeah, but that being said, again, this game does have a lot of good things in it, and those good things are very clear. Like if if you know, I I, I do think the platforming is cool, movement options are cool, progression is great. Uh, once you get it, <laughs> once you find where it is. And the boss fights are nice. They're much better than the enemy enemy gauntlets. Um, the visuals are good too. Visuals are good. Music is decent. But it's just like glaring issues with the uh, core Metroidvania components that I think hurt the gameplay experience with this game a lot. Especially blind. Uh, yeah, I don't really think there's much else to say for this game. Yeah, pretty simple. Uh, the gameplay time is definitely padded by the fact that the quality of life is poor. It's not that it's not that long of a game for sure. But yeah, um, all right, that's all I've got, guys. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. Um, appreciate everyone that tuned in, tuned in for the playthrough. I wish I had streamed it from the very beginning, but uh, I'm also glad that we pushed through to the end. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, so this will be the, we'll call this the second to last stream for a while, like for a couple weeks, because um, I have other things to take care of for some time, upcoming events and such, but um, there should be another Soden Randomizer stream on the way, hopefully this week, so look look around for that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, what game is next? Uh, I haven't thought about it. it. Definitely not Hollow Knight on stream. Um, let me see. There were a couple that actually had in mind. I was going to learn Duelist of Eden, but I don't know if that's best for streaming either, because that one would just be PvP, right? Uh, there were a couple I got recently. Frontier Hunter, when that gets out of early access. I'm interested in streaming that. Oh, I did get Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Bomberman Ultra against Retro Rage. <laughs> Is that on Steam? If that's on Steam, sure, of course. Down to get bodied. Um. Oh, you know what? I did get a couple of... Uh... Well, those are like chill games. It's not going to be as intense as these Metroidvanias I've been playing, but I did get a couple of uh, new 3DS games. Um, we'll see if I can get a stream set up for that. It might be difficult, but, you know, I'll try. Hmm. Let's see. Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> if you guys want to watch me play that for, like, a year, I don't know. <laughs> However long that would take. Multiple months. Steam? What is that supposed to mean? Is it not on Steam? If it's not on Steam, then I get, I understand. Yeah, yeah, 3DS games. Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't started playing on Robobot, but I don't think I'll play that on a stream. But I might play so i got um bravely default uh what else um zelda a link between worlds and um let me see oh yeah kirby triple deluxe but i don't know if i'll play that one on stream either hearing a review for ff13 
would be super interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, like, I played the Lightning Returns FF13 demo when I was a teenager, and, like, I didn't, I didn't think it was that bad, but also that's just the demo, and also I didn't like the, the, like, there were already, like, signs of the time mechanic that I could see people, like, not liking, but I didn't have big issues with it at the time, uh, but that's Lightning Returns FF13, right? Uh, FF13, um, I watched speedruns for it, like, not long ago because there's also like a speedrun history of that game and it's it was a really interesting video uh but i you know playing the game casually looks fun the gameplay system seems cool so we'll see where that goes <laughs> uh but that one if we do play it on stream again it would take quite a while right that's that's a that's a jrpg that's a square enix video game <laughs> but yeah those are some ideas of what i might play on stream next uh oops um, I don't, I don't have any new Metroidvanias other than like Hollow Knight, which I won't be playing on stream. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, there will be one more stream before a break for a few weeks. So yeah, feel free you guys to come through for the Soten Rando stream. Um, that'll happen as that stream. And yeah, otherwise that's all I've got, guys. Oh, Dondara, yes. Yes, let me actually add that to wish list right now. Cause, uh, yeah, I, I, I saw I looked at the game and it looked very cool. Highly agree with you. Appreciate your recommendation of that. All right. Yeah, guys, that's all I got for today. Thanks again for tuning in for watching. Hope you all have a good one. Catch you next time. Yeah, later not Gail, just thanks again.